Hi, welcome to English 1050. This is just a quick, quick little video to show you how to get to where I'm going to be posting this semester in Canvas. So you will log into my EOL. Notice you can get to your email here and all kinds of things. So we're going to click on this thing called Canvas with the red uh, emo um, emoji there. When you get here, um, you'll see all of your classes. Click on our English class. Uh, yours will look a little different than mine because these are all the classes that I'm teaching. So open up your class and I'm going to put it in student view so it'll look like what you see. When you come into my class, you can see my little welcome thing. And I just want to show you a couple of places that are going to be important for you this semester. If I've left an announcement, you will have um, a little number here to see, it'll just give you a little exclamation point and a one. Uh, I'm going to be using modules this semester, and you can get to the module either by clicking over here on the left. You can also get to it from this button on the home page and click learning modules. You'll see that I have every day of the semester, and I've listed the things that we're going to be doing. You can read them here. Um, first day, I'm going to be getting a writing sample from you. Uh, I'll be giving you a handout in class. We'll be doing that most weeks. We'll be getting a little bit of writing practice going. Um, sometime after the class is over, in case you have lost the writing that I give you, um, I'll be posting it. But the postings, um, you'll notice when I click on this one, um, it's going to tell you that the file is locked until August 16th, 12 a.m., so it'll become um, available later. Anytime you get lost in Canvas, just click on the Home button. The next thing I want to point out is that your syllabus is here. Go ahead um, and open it. When you get into this link, you're going to see, by the way, it, it goes ahead and it puts everything that we're doing up um, in chronological order for the whole semester or anything that I post in this course summary. I think it's easier to read it in the module link that I've already shown you. Uh, but come in here and you can open up your syllabus. Um, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and download that as a PDF. You can click download from here um, and then you can open it and save it to your computer. You can print it out. You don't have to print all of the pages. It is eight pages. You can print the whole thing if you want. Um, the beginning of it shows everything that's really important for just our class, all of my class rules and that's going to end um, at about the third page. And then I have things that apply to everybody, um, the FERPA statement, um, and then a lot of different places on campus. So this is a place that you can come back to and see. Uh, let me close this. Uh, we also have a calendar that you can click on. Um, you can see um, that it's putting anything that's going to be a due date, any little grade that I'm going to be putting in the grade book is already here. I might be adding to that, taking some away. I might change it during the semester. Um, you can see when you uh, roll over things, for example, um, this one tells you what is um, due. This is in the handbook. Oh, and let me tell you about the handbook. Uh, let me come back to our homepage. Before I go back to the homepage, I've just put the whole month up and you can see on Wednesdays I'm going to have sign up times where you can sign up for an appointment. It's Since I'm not really a student, it's not really showing it quite correctly, but you can click on any one of these and then um, you'll have an option to make the appointment. If you do make the appointment, it puts your name in and tells me that you are coming. If you do that by mistake, let me know. Um, and I can take that, I can take you out of that appointment. I think you might be able to as well. Um, make sure if you do sign up for a Zoom appointment um, and you'll be able to uh, click on my Zoom link, which is given at the appointment when you make the count, when you make that appointment. All right. I have a picture of what the cover of our one book that you need to purchase for this class. Uh, it is on, it is the green one. It's been various other colors like yellow and blue before this. So make sure you get the fourth edition with exercises. I've given you the ISBN number, which is like a book's uh, serial number. Um, if you go to somewhere like Amazon or any of the used bookstore places online or stores that you want to use, or even our campus bookstore, you can type in the ISBN number to make sure you're getting exactly the right book. Uh, you definitely want the one with exercises. Um, it is published without exercises. We will be using the exercises this semester. Um, I'm not so worried about you getting the electronic card, so if you want to buy a used book for my class, that's absolutely fine. Um, so anyway, that's the book. It's also listed on the syllabus. I also have it, notice in class resources, 
I will continue to post things here. Um, as we go in the semester, I'll be referring to these grammar and punctuation videos and practice links. They go in the order that we're going to be covering them during the semester. We will be doing vocabulary this semester. I haven't added anything really to here. I think I had to put a couple of terms in, but we'll be adding to that from our reading this semester or any words that we encounter um, that we feel like we need to look up. We'll be putting those there and, and working on our vocabulary. So just remember anytime, um, come back to the home page. Uh, remember to download or print your syllabus, read through it, have some questions for me tomorrow, and I really look forward to meeting you.